It's just a, a feast for the eyes. It's absolutely beautiful. In December, the holiday season in Torrance isn't quite complete without a trip to Candy Cane Lane. I think it's incredible. We were talking about, I was talking to my husband about what a coordinated effort this must have been to get um, all the houses to participate. It's just really remarkable. It feels like you're in the North Pole in Southern California. <laughs> Blocks and blocks of holiday decorations and lights adorn yards and twinkle from this neighborhood's trademark Chinese elm trees. It's an effort that's been going on since 1985 in the small community of Southwest Torrance known as Seaside Ranchos. Throughout the rest of the year, this quiet community of 5,000 residents, nestled between PCH and Sepulveda, just west of Anza, doesn't receive much attention and actually prefers it that way. When you came in, I'm sure you noticed how secluded it is. And it's always been that way. All right, guys, ready? Secluded, but also tight-knit. In March of 2010, hundreds of residents, past and present, turned out for the 60th anniversary of Seaside Ranchos at Seaside Elementary. It was the first Torrance school to be built after Torrance seceded from the Los Angeles Unified School District. Some of my fondest childhood memories were right here at Seaside School and having grown up, my mother still lives in the house where I grew up, so I've been, my family's been in this neighborhood for 50 years and it's, yeah, it, it was important to me to be here. This is a special place. Well, I think one of the key words is community. This has always been a fairly close-knit close community despite the fact that it, the school district was divided up. I mean, this particular school district was divided up as the schools grew. Now the school covers pretty much a contiguous area, but a lot of old ties here. Its moniker, Seaside, was probably a sales gimmick since the area is actually more than a mile from the ocean. It borders the former site of Lake Walteria, where water would collect and frequently flood following heavy rains. Because it was deemed a swampland, no one saw its potential as a residential neighborhood. No one except for developer Ben Haggett, who bought the land at a bargain price of $280 per acre and opened the first units of Seaside Ranchos in 1947. His widow, Miko, often heard him tell of the area's transformation. He uh, always told me that his pride was that he made the unuseful land into useful and he wanted to give affordable house to the people that just after the war. So one of the uh, salesman was his friend. He was kind of complained that he wanted to sell you know, better houses or something like that. But he said you know, he wanted to give the best for the money and, uh, and also he was very proud that he lived one of the house that he built until he died. His heart is always in this place. Two years later, in 1949, Seaside Elementary opened its doors with remnants of its swampy past. Where the playground is now, it was, a, it was just mud. We had mud everywhere. And of course, the school was built for 400 children, and over 700 showed up. But Seaside survived those growing pains and in 1957 opened the six-acre, nine-hole Sea Air Golf Course, the city's first and only municipal course. As Mary Babbitt recalls, it became a neighborhood where kids felt safe. I grew up kind of in the golden era of where all the kids were playing in the street and we would come home when the church bells rang and uh, it was, I think, a time of innocence in a way. Today, with nearly 1,700 homes, Seaside Ranchos continues to thrive. It's incredible to be standing here in this exact spot that six years ago I stand, stood out here with residents and there was probably about 30 or 40 of them right here talking about the dirt field behind us. That dirt field that once looked like this now looks like this. In January 2011 it was dedicated to become Seaside Heroes Park 
in honor of the community's fallen soldiers. It's yet another testament to the tenacity of this little community of Torrance that could. From Seaside Ranchos, Colleen Farrell with the Centennial History Minute.